Hello everyone, welcome to another Arc Mobile video. I'm Rootrain, and here's a quick video on how to revive dinos in Arc Mobile. Before the tutorial starts, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to see more daily Arc Mobile content. And be sure to click the bell to be notified whenever I stream. Today I'll be reviving a tapiera that died off camera in between my Let's Play series. Arc Mobile has some new features compared to the PC and console versions, where dinosaurs have their own creature implants and in-game currency called Ancient Amber. If your dinosaur dies, be sure to pick up the creature implant, and you can bring it to any of the three obelisks to revive it. The game will charge you Ancient Amber for the process, but is overall not too overpowered or unfair for the game. If you lose the creature implant, you cannot bring the dino back. The implant also expires 24 hours after the dino dies, so a tribe cannot keep a horde of giga implants to revive any time. You also have to bring the creature implant all the way to one of the obelisks, where many ARC players know is a dangerous place. Therefore, if you want to spend money to revive a weaker baby dino, chances are you're wasting your ancient amber and the dino you revive will not be able to make it home. In the case of the tapiera I'm reviving for my Let's Play series, it was killed yesterday by a Therizinosaur. It was named by a viewer on my stream, so I wanted to revive it so that I can continue being in my Let's Play. Now that we're at the Red Obelisk, let's revive Scotch or Tapiera. Just like when transferring dinos to other servers or challenging a boss, you have to go to the Tribute Terminal in the center. There are currently no bosses available in the beta, as well as no cross-server transfers, so Creature Revival is the only option here right now. Tapping and dragging the creature implant to the terminal gives you the option to revive it. Wow, that effect is so cool! Awesome, my tapir is back. Scotch is back in the series! Now that our tapir is tamed, time to bring them back home. For the cost of reviving Scotch, my level 16 tapiera, it costs 8 each in amber. Of course, that's subject to change when the game gets further rebalanced after launch. Between now and the next episode, I'll be investing in an ascendant saddle for Scotch to make sure they can stand up to any Therizina sword that comes their way. Wow, that's a really cool base over here. The bases in Arc Mobile right now are incredible. If anyone wants me to tour some later, be sure to let me know. There are so many awesome players a part of this beta right now, so there are a lot of awesome bases and teams to see. I hope there's no auto turrets at this base though. I really don't want to run back to the obelisk to revive Scotch again. Okay, I don't think there are any. There shouldn't be any other large bases until I get back home, so my tape jar should be safe. Thanks everyone for watching the tutorial on reviving dinos in Arc Mobile. Please leave a like and comment down below, and be sure to subscribe for more Arc Mobile content. This is Rootrain, and see you all next time.